Okay, so still in section 21.5. This is sort of a, a prelude to the malonic acid or acetoacetic ester synthesis. So it's a, it's a pretty, uh, I really like this reaction. It's one of the first reactions I did as an undergrad back at Oklahoma State um, as part of something else. But uh, it turns out that if you heat up a, a compound that's got a beta keto acid, so what is a beta keto acid? A beta keto acid is, so carboxylic acid here, right? Alpha carbon, beta carbon. If that beta carbon is a, is a carbonyl, uh, and it can actually be any kind of carbonyl. It can be an aldehyde, a ketone, an ester, an amide, a carboxylic acid, a thioester, whatever. As long as there's a carbonyl here on the beta carbon, this reaction works really well. And so I'll draw in the X over here too. You're going to keep that around. Right? So if you heat this beta keto acid up in water, it decarboxylates. So decarboxylate means it kicks out CO2. All right, so let's look at how that happens. Um, think back to the Diels Alder reaction for just a moment. I'm going to draw this in another. Uh, That I'm going to, but I didn't. All right, so I'm going to rotate around this uh, the acid alpha carbon bond, and you get this right. That's actually how that's going to look because you get this intramolecular hydrogen bond that's that's quite stabilizing. So now when you heat this up, I'm going to take away the hydrogen bond. The hydrogen bond's there, so I'm going to have it drawn. Now, remember the Diels Alder. So I'll draw the Diels Alder over here. So the Diels Alder cyclo addition, that ain't right. Sorry. <laughs> Thinking about the uh, photochemical reaction I was reading about earlier. All right, so the Diels Alder cyclo addition uh, is a diene and an alkene and a concerted uh, six pi electron reaction. Well, here you don't have six pi electron, but the arrows are going to look exactly the same. All right? So. Carbon oxygen pi bond grabs the H, the OH sigma bond makes a pi bond between the carbon and oxygen, uh, between the, the single bonded oxygen and the, the acid carbonyl. And then we break this CC bond like so. And the products that you get out of this, well, you get your CO2 directly. And this is, and that's what drives this reaction. Okay, so equilibrium style, what's driving this reaction is that CO2 forms and just bubbles up out of your reaction flask. All right, and then the other thing you get is an enol. All right, and then this tautomerizes to the carbonyl. All right, we've done this, if you go back to one of the, there's an earlier video, 21.1, for enols, and I show a base and acid catalyzed mechanism to go from the enol to the, to the carbonyl compound. And under most circumstances, that equilibrium, the equilibrium constant here is like 10 to the 12, 10 to the 13, something like that. Okay, but this, this is all this reaction is, decarboxylation of a beta keto acid. And again, the beta keto can be a, uh, can be a ketone, it can be an aldehyde, it can be a carboxylic acid, anything that will enolize. And this has to be in an acid form. So this can, is often, can, uh, let's do plus hydrolysis here. So here's, uh, let's, put, let's put some more stuff on there, okay? So if I take this compound, this blue compound, it's an ester, it's not an acid, it's a beta keto ester. And let's say I heat this up in aqueous acid. And you typically just do these at 100 degrees. You just boil the solution. The product is going to be that. All right? Uh, and let's put that all in here. Everybody's favorite organic molecule. All right? So the first step is hydrolysis. And 
and decarboxylation. Okay, so we take a beta ketoester, acid hydrolysis under aqueous acid conditions. We get, now we get a beta keto acid, and the beta keto acid decarboxylates according to this mechanism up here. All right, this is what I've outlined here is essentially the malonic acid and acetoacetic ester synthesis. And that'll be the next video.